Editing solid models often requires a majority of the effort needed to create a design. There are many commands to edit solid models, and it is important to know how to use them to achieve the results you desire. The more of them you master, the more sophisticated your designs can be. Once a solid model is started, edits can be made to one or more individual faces of the model. When you need to remove a feature from your design, you can use Delete Face to remove selected faces, such as a hole or a more complex feature with multiple faces. You can add or remove material using Extrude Face on one or more faces of the model. Repositioning features of a model is always necessary. Using Move Face, you can move one or more faces from one location to another on the model. Using Offset Face, you can add or remove material from one or more faces of a model when you have instances where Extrude does not apply, such as enlarging or reducing the diameter of a cylindrical feature. At some point, you will probably need to split a face into two faces. This can be done using Imprint. You draw 2D geometry on the face, then use the Imprint command to split the face using the 2D geometry as the cutting line. You can apply a slant to a face using Rotate Face. You must select one or more faces and an axis of rotation and define an angle of rotation. When designing molded plastic or cast parts, you can use Taper Face to apply the required draft angles to the design. To further develop your plastic or cast part design, you can use Shell to create a thin wall design from a solid model. Shell can simultaneously hollow out a solid model and allow you to select faces to be removed. A simple example would be to create a can from a solid cylinder. The Shell command will prompt you to specify the wall thickness and the end of the can you wish to be open.